Oh, welcome Waffle Wolfettes. So we are back with the brilliant Bug Snacks on the PlayStation 5. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now today we're going to be heading to the desert because there's two more characters we need to meet. The first character is Cromdo, who I think we temporarily met a couple of videos back. He was shouting at me from a bridge. And I'm pretty sure that Triffany, Wambus' wife, is also in the desert area. So we're going to head to the desert. We're going to have a chat with Cromdo, find out what we need to do to persuade him to come back to Snacksburg. And then once that's done, we'll find Triffany and then we'll try and persuade her to also come back to Snacksburg. Now in the last video, we focused primarily on interviewing Wiggles, if I remember correctly. And then Wiggles also gave me another side mission to go and catch a Subway sandwich, pretty much, to feed it to her, to try and help her with her singing. But we can't actually defeat the Subway sandwich at the moment because we need a completely different trap that I don't think we've unlocked yet. I think to get the trap that you need, I'm pretty sure we need to go to Sugar Pine Mountain, I think it's called, which is going to be across that bridge. So once we're done with the desert area and we've brought back Cromdo and Triffany, then I think we'll be able to get the right gadget and we'll be able to carry on with uh, Wiggles' side mission storyline. But I've actually finished this game now and this game is absolutely amazing. I tell you, a lot longer than I thought it would be. There's a lot of side missions you can do, a lot of additional stories that you can experience, but the actual, the actual main story itself is absolutely amazing in this game, and it's a very, very different kind of ending. Definitely not what you, what you would expect. It's amazing. <laughs> but yeah, let's uh, find Cromdo, have a chat with him, and uh, then we can start getting some missions on the go. Now, I don't know how many of the uh, creatures are found in this area, I think we've only like scanned a couple, haven't we? Scorched Gorge. Yeah, so we've got the jacket potato. Oh no, that's the, uh, I think that's the hamburger. Yeah, that's the uh, different kind of hamburger in this area. I think that's like a spicy fryer. Then we've got uh, a bunch of ribs by the looks of it. We've already caught the popcorn for uh, Wiggle, some pop ticks. These guys are irritating, they just constantly won't stop ramming you. Then we've got the flying Watsits. We won't be able to capture these guys just yet, I don't think, because we need to get some cheese, and we won't be getting cheese for a very long time, so we won't be able to get these guys yet. These are the random like packets of crisps and sweets that you can find around the area, and I think this guy might be actually inside one of these tunnels. Yeah, if you send, uh, if you send Strabby into that little hole there, then uh, he's going to follow it all the way to another hole, and out of that hole, one of the uh, green... Uh, pill bugs will pop out so make sure you set your uh, trap up let me show you quickly if you send Strabby in there right make sure he goes and then we quickly find the exit which is over here as you can see by the laser then you place your trap there and if you just wait here a green pill bug should come out I think it's called a pill bug ain't it <clears throat> yep there he comes there we go beautiful <laughs> beautifully done Lovely, right. Let me quickly scan this guy. Oh, a ribblepede. Lovely. Didn't know you could find him out here. Very nice. Oh, there he is. He's still waving to me. Yeah, because he told me to come up and speak to him. Hey, you! There, up here! Follow me and I'll show you the deal of a lifetime! I'm pretty sure you already said that to me, mate. I need to um, I need to try and sleep somewhere because this uh, sandstorm is a bloody nightmare. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> right, there he is. That's the spicy fryer. Yeah, sweet fryer, not spicy. Sweet fryer. I like sweet fries. Don't really like sweet fries. Let me know in the comments if you like sweet fries. I'm not really a fan of them. Don't taste right to me, it tastes a bit weird. Mind you, I'm very fussy, I don't like many things to be honest. <laughs> and this is the different kind of hamburger that you can get in this area. Right, let's have a chat with Cromdo. Actually, first things first, if it lets me, I'm gonna uh, sleep quickly. Just to get rid of the sandstorm. Oh, well that didn't work, did it? <laughs> that didn't work at all. Oh, well, it's a lot easier to see now, though. 
You're right, Cromdo. How are you doing, mate? Hello, friend. Welcome. Come on over. Take a look. I assure you, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> the name's Cromdo Face, the one and only salesman in paradise. Can I help you? Friend, have I got a bridge to sell you? Beautiful, isn't it? Hardwood? New construction, eh? Huh? Oh, baby, what a bridge! All yours for just 100 punk snacks. What do you say? <laughs> I mean, I would agree to that, to be honest, because we don't even really need this bridge, and you need to collect 100 bug snacks to platinum this game. You need to catch one of every type of bug snack. So, you could actually do that, but, you know, that's too much, man. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 can't afford it? No problem. I got a specialty item just for you, cheap as free. Follow me, pal. Oh, yeah, he's going to teach me a new uh, trap, ain't he? Yeah, this new trap that he teaches me, I don't think we'll be using it very often in this playthrough, but we do have to use it for a couple of missions until we unlock some other uh, traps. But the... Uh, the, uh, the trap that he gives me is an absolute nightmare to use. It's a right pain in the ass. There are a couple of situations where you need it, but yeah. Oh yeah, there she is. That's Triffany down there. That is Wambus's wife. So we're going to have to speak to her once we're done with the uh, Cromdo main storyline. All right, come on then. Give me this trap. Feast your eyes on this beautiful lunch pad. Totally for sale and not at all stolen. You're itching to try it out, I can tell. Uh, my windmills over there got stuck. Why don't you, why don't you take it for a spin and knock them into shape? Okay, right. So I think we could put these rocks on it. Yeah, but the main thing you need to remember is you can also use this to launch bug snacks. I think there's actually a trophy for knocking a bug snacks out of the sky with another bug snacks, but it's a lot easier to use bug snacks on these things sometimes because there ain't many things that you can even place on this lunch pad. So uh, yeah, if you put some like bait on this, like some cheese or hot sauce, then you can lure a bug snacks over and it'll stand on it. And then you can launch them at something, but you can aim where you want it to go. Like if I pull it here, you can aim where you want it to go. So I want it to go like there. And then you can grab up something like a bug snacks Put it on top of it, and then shoot. <clears throat> Lovely. Sorry if my voice is a bit uh, a bit phlegmy at the moment. Um, I've just been outside, and it's minus six at the moment in England. It's been snowing a ton over the last week, so it's absolutely freezing outside, and I've come straight in, and I've started recording, and my, my voice ain't happy with it. My voice wants me to sit quietly for a couple of hours, and uh, obviously I can't do that, so my voice is a little bit, a little bit gunky at the moment. Probably sounds very disgusting how I'm describing it, but yeah, it just, just feels very like phlegmy. I don't know, it's horrible. <laughs> very froggy. Lovely. There you go, mate. I started your windmills. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, feel that hot, sweaty breeze. Now it's time to pay up. What? You used it, you bought it. There's no such thing as a free lunch. Hey. Eh, you could pay me three of those cheap books. They think they're so great. Flying around. Let's see how they like flying into my mouth. <laughs> All right, now this is the bloody mission that is a pain in the butt. So we need to capture three of these flying watsits over here. And uh, catching the one that's up here ain't too bad because you can lure the uh, burger onto the lunch pad and then shoot it at the cheesy poof. But these, this one right here and the other one, there's got these stupid jacket potatoes that won't stop charging you or charging your launch pad and knocking it flying. So it makes it a right nightmare trying to catch these two uh, cheesy poofs. But um, the one up here ain't too bad to get. I suppose you could capture this one, leave the area, sleep and come back. And then I think the uh, bug snacks reappear. So I suppose you could do it like that if you want to just keep catching this one over here. But this little guy over here is a right pain in the butt because... For some reason, I think he loves me. Like, if you scan him, it doesn't say he loves me, but he won't stop running over to me and then pushing me. Like, watch, look. See, I like... <laughs> and he's, like, really happy that he's pushed me. He's a little turd. I don't get his problem. He's like a spicy hamburger. A BBQ burger. A bit different to the bungers. So, uh, if I put my uh, lunch pad right here, watch out for that little git. 
And then I think you can aim it at the cheesy poof. Like, I think if you aim it directly at it. Oh, go away! <laughs> I think if you aim it directly at the cheesy poof, I think it, like, follows it. Yeah, there we go. And now it will follow the cheesy poof. Makes it a lot easier to shoot at it. Right, what does he love? Tomato sauce. I'm only doing this to get the... Uh, well, I won't get the trophy, but this is how you get the trophy. I'm just showing you all how to do it. I've already platinumed the game, so none of the trophies are going to pop. There you go, and that should get you a trophy. Lovely. Now, we just need to get two more. Now, I don't... I don't think... I don't think we can get those jacket potatoes to stand on the lunch pad. I don't think they want to. I think they just keep charging it because they just hate absolutely everything. They hate everything, especially each other, as you can see. <laughs> Pretty much the equivalent of a human, to be honest. But um, actually, I, you know what we could do? I don't know if there's any rocks up here, but if there's some rocks up here, we could... We could put the lunch pad up here. Yeah, I suppose we could do this from up here, I guess. Yeah, there's some rocks here. Yeah, we might as well do this from up here. As long as we watch out, watch out for that hamburger. Looks like he's stuck at the moment. <laughs> but yeah, we might be able to do this from up here. It might be a hell of a lot easier, actually. Right, so if we set this up, yeah. Yeah, this actually would be a lot easier. I was trying to do it from the grand level when I did this off camera and those stupid jacket potatoes wouldn't stop pushing me and attacking my trap and I don't think they would stand on it so it was a bit of a nightmare. But I suppose we could do it from up here. This would probably be a lot easier actually. At least not heavy enough or something, or do we have to use the bug snacks? <laughs> Flipping hell! Come on! I suppose we could lure the, uh, the bunger over here. The BBQ bunger. I think he might be stuck though, I don't know what he's doing. You alright mate, you stuck. Ouch! All right, I think he's stuck. Right, let me... Um... Actually, I know what we can do. It's, this is a different idea, because I don't think the rocks are working. I think the rocks might be too light or something. But if we, uh, if we take this and we pull it on the actual path of the spud, and then we hide away so he don't charge me, and maybe we can do it like this. Oh, brilliant, it worked. I'll tell you, I was having such a nightmare doing this off camera. Lovely, right. Now there's one more over here. Is there another spud? Yeah. Gotta make sure they don't see each other because they always attack each other. Right, where's the other one? The other cheesy poof. Where's he gone? Have we, like, taken too long or something? Right, let me quickly sleep. Because, uh, as you already know, there is a day and night cycle in this game, and creatures do vanish at a certain time. Like, we can actually check right now, actually. Let's have a look. Yeah, 6am to 4pm, and it is currently 4.17pm. Yeah, so we're going to have to sleep. I do like that there's like a day and night cycle in this game. I think it makes it a lot more interesting having to come back to certain areas in specific weather types and different times of days. This game is brilliant, I tell you. Absolutely phenomenal, this game. Oh, look, the other two have appeared again. I might as well capture this one again. Oh, where's that spud? You don't want him to see you because it will mess up his path. There he is. These ones look a little bit smaller, didn't they? Or am I just imagining things? Yes! 
Where's it gone? Hey, we got it. They look a lot smaller suddenly, didn't they? It's like they've shrunk. Oh no, maybe I'm imagining things. Have I pressed record? Yes. I have to be very careful because a couple of days back, as you may have seen, I was recording and for some reason my capture card decided to record in black and white for some reason. Well, it wasn't completely black and white. It was almost black and white with the bare minimum amount of colour. And thankfully I managed to fix it in Sony Vegas, but I know it's very quickly. It's only five minutes of the video was messed up. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit uh, on edge at the moment. Keep checking my stuff to make sure everything's recording properly. Lovely. Right, come on then you git, let's feed you some watsits. Now I think what I'm going to do in this playthrough is I'm going to try my best to feed them and only transform their legs and their arms because if you fully transform them, they look very weird. There is a trophy for fully transforming them because you can transform all their limbs, then their teeth, their nose and their horns and their head, like their uh, hair I mean, and then after that, once you've done all that, you can transform their body and then they completely change into whatever you feed them. Now you can make them look pretty cool. Because you if you keep feeding them the same type of food and then all of their body parts match, you can make them look pretty cool. But I actually prefer it when they look like grumpuses. So I'm going to try my best to only transform their legs and arms so they don't change too much. Because it actually can make it a pain in the butt sometimes. Because if you just feed them and then change all their body types, it could be a pain in the butt knowing who's who when they're all walking around in the tan. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to try my best to only transform their legs and arms. Because then I can at least recognise who's who. <laughs> Obviously you know who's who by the voices, but still. Just a bit of a nightmare when you're in a rush. Lovely. <sighs> okay, okay. I know you're just itching to get your paws on that bridge. So, I'll cut you a deal, friend. I want a fryer, but it's on this ridiculously tall rock. And I wasn't exactly blessed with stilts for legs. <laughs> Neither was I. I mean, if you look at my shadow, if it actually shows my shadow, I don't think it shows my shadow in this area, but when you go to the area that that bridge leads to, actually, which is like a very, very, very hot desert area, um, you can actually see your shadow. And I'm basically the same as him, but a bit taller. <laughs> right, uh, catch one sweet frieder. Okay, specifically the sweet frieder. It won't even accept the normal frieder, because then we could go back to Flavor Falls and catch a frieder there, but... He wants to specifically, he wants the uh, sweet rider. I think we can jump over there from here, actually. It's looking a bit, it's looking a bit windy at the moment. Can I like? No. Right, can I? Uh... Oh, what a jump. Oh crap, he, don't, he ain't happy. Jesus. We got him! <laughs> oh, that was flipping quick, that was. What the hell is that? Oh, is that a pop tick? Yeah, it's a pop tick. Okay. Flipping. Oh, that was lucky, wasn't it? Oh, watch out. That is disgusting, ain't it? It looks like a big fluffy tarantula is just standing on the wall, doesn't it? Actually, if you want to find uh, one of the uh, the um, the snack, uh, what is it, the snack packs or what? They, I don't know what they call it, like snack packs or something. But there's one in every area. But I think it's round here. Snack pod, I think they're called actually. Yeah, I don't think they're going to appear yet. But uh, once you've uh, done some missions in an area, the snack pods will start to appear, and they're like packets of crisps or packets of sweets. And there's a different type in every area. So, uh, yeah, I think it's hidden up on this mountain if you're looking for it. I think it's like a purpley blue colour or something. But if you haven't played this game, definitely play it. Like, I would go as far to say, play this game yourselves, experience the story because it's very interesting and not what you would expect. And also it's fun to do the side missions and learn about all the characters and that. Play this game, experience it yourselves and then come and watch my playthrough because I think uh, that will be better. Or if you get stuck trying to capture any of the bug snacks and you've got my videos to help you, I guess. But I recommend experiencing the story yourself. Obviously, I shouldn't be saying things like this because uh, that will persuade people to click off my video. But, you know, I'd rather people experience games themselves and then come and watch my videos, you know. 
because I don't want the story to be spoiled by you watching me, unless you don't mind, obviously, that's up to you, but I'm just saying. I think this is something that people should experience themselves and then watch on YouTube if you want to see other people's reactions and how they play the game and stuff like that. Or if you need any help finding any bug snacks or how to catch them. Because there are some elusive bug snacks in this game that you may not know how to find. Not too many, but there are a few. Frider. Pleasure doing business with you. Hey, you're my best and only customer. And I'm starting to think I should get a better location back in Snacksburg. But uh, moving all this inventory across the desert is real sweaty work. I'll need a way to keep cool. If you make both my feet into big bopsicles, uh, then walk in the hot sands would be a breeze. But I gotta warn you, you won't find bopsicles in the desert. Better look elsewhere, pal. Turn Cromdo's feet into big bopsicles. Um... I think you find the bopsicles in, uh... In Sugar Pine Woods. And I don't think we can go there yet. Yeah, I don't think we can go there yet. So I'm going to have to either, I'm going to have to either go back to Snacksburg and see if uh, Philbo's got one of those like missions for me to do involving Snacksburg, or we might have to start doing the Triffany missions. Right, let me quickly go back to Snacksburg and see if uh, Philbo wants to talk to me or anything. And if not, we're going to have to start doing some of the missions with Triffany, I think. Because Bopsicles, you can only get in uh, Sugar Pine Woods, I think, and we can't go there yet because the uh, bridge is currently pulled up and it doesn't come down until one of the events occurs in the game. How's it going? Not bad, Philbo. Not bad, mate. I tell you, you look so damn soft. I reckon you feel like velvet. I would give you such a stroke, mate. Hey, that sounds Wiggle. proper dirty, doesn't it? <laughs> I'd give you such a stroke, mate. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, but this is where we need to go to get... The uh, bopsicles to turn Cromdo's feet into icicles so he don't burn his feet in the desert. Even though he's kind of standing on the sand at the moment and he's been standing there for the last 22 minutes of this video. So I'm not quite sure why he needs bopsicles suddenly. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we are going to have to have a chat with Triffany. Let me see what kinds of missions I've got. Cold feet, Triffany and then the big story. Yeah, so we're going to have to uh, go and speak to Triffany now. All right. Uh, one other thing we ain't done yet, but if you come onto your uh, clues for finding Lisbeth, uh, we've got this key right here, which we can use on a diary, but we don't have the diary yet. So once we get the diary, we can unlock it. Now you also get these maps right here. As you can see, Sugar Pine Woods map. And if you look at it, and when you go to Sugar Pine Woods, if you go to where the X is, I think you find uh, some more of those film reels that you can play on the projector to get more of a story, but I think you have to find them. So uh, yeah, make sure when you go to each of these areas, you look at these maps and you go to the X because you do find some story stuff. And I think you do have to do it. I'm not 100% sure you might not have to, but obviously you want to do it to experience all the story. And then we've got Befica's decoy diary. <laughs> Lovely. Right, let's go and have a chat with Triffany quickly then. <laughs> Did you hear Philbo then? A wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> I love Philbo, man. I tell you, if you're watching this video, Young Horse Studios, which I'm almost certain you're not, but uh, you need to release some of these bug snacks, either as like plushes or as like pop figures. If you release a Philbo pop figure or any kind of like statue of Philbo, I guarantee you I will buy it and probably unbox it on my YouTube channel. We can even we can even do a little sponsored video if you want. You can sponsor me, you know. Send me like I don't know a tenner, and I'll unbox it on YouTube, and then hopefully persuade a lot of other people to buy them as well, and you'll get your money back, and I'll make ten pound and get some views. Win win for both of us, Young Horse Studios. Win win for both of us. Just hit me up in the uh, comments, or uh, you know, email me. You know, I'm open to business. Don't mind doing unboxings on this channel. Right, where's Triffany? There she is. I just like that you can jump off the mountain in this game and not die. <laughs> I'm going to quickly capture one of these spuddies because they're a bloody nightmare. Oh, actually. 
No, I can't. I don't know. I don't think I can capture this one. You need to make them smack their head into things. They're like uh, bungers. You've got to make them bash their head on things to be able to capture them. I don't think you can catch them in your normal traps. Well, leave them alone for now. The other two over there are easy to capture because you can just get both of the jacket potatoes to headbutt each other and then you can catch both of them. You're right, Trivany. You know, Wambus has been missing you massively. Absolutely massively. He even built a cactus and he named it after you. <laughs> he has been missing you massively, Trifony, so you definitely need to come back to Snacksburg. Yes? Oh, goodness. I didn't notice you there. Hi, how are ya? I'm Trifony Ladablog. You caught me doing some archaeology. Try not to step on the skulls, ya? I'm getting a lot of different accents from you. I'm hearing a little bit of, uh, maybe a bit of Irish, a bit of like Scandinavia. I don't know. I'm hearing something very weird with your voice, Trifony. <laughs> Will you come back to Snacksburg? You want me to come back to Snacksburg? Gosh, look around ya. There's a whole civilization buried here, and I barely dug one hole. But... I could use a trip to the old research tent once I get a few samples. See these skeletons? Something's fossilized in their stomachs. Looks a bit like a local bug snack. I'll need some live ribblepeeds. If you wouldn't mind, could you help me find some? They like to hide on the walls in these here ruins. <laughs> okay. We've already seen a ribblepeed uh, over there, so we can grab that one if we need to. Mm. Catch free ribblepeeds. Right, I think she said we can find them in here. Ah, hmm. oh, there's one. Loves hot sauce. It likes to hide and sit still. Maybe some sauce could get it on the move. Hmm. This could get it to move, I should say. <laughs> Lovely. Delicious. Ah, oh, I love it when their little voices come through the dual sense controller. Some of them sound so bloody adorable. Some of them sound pretty creepy, but some of them are really adorable. Right. Just make sure when you shoot the source, you stand back. Because even though they run towards the source, if they see you, you'll startle them and they'll run away. So you don't want to end up wasting any of your source. So pretty much you'll come back to Snacksburg once you're finished studying this area. Because she, she did say that she could use a trip back to the old tent. And the old tent is uh, back in Snacksburg. So uh, yeah, I guess we just need to help her do some exploring and she'll come back to Snacksburg with us. Oh no. Let's wait for that git to pass us by so we don't start pushing me. I love it when you... Uh, when you sneak around in this game, when you press circle. I just love your little paws. They just look like Garfield, don't they? <laughs> like Garfield has gone on an adventure. I mean, Garfield probably would come to an island like this because Garfield is a very fat cat and he loves to eat. Although I don't think there's any lasagna in this game, so I don't think Garfield would have too much fun on this island, but I'm sure he wouldn't mind eating some ribs because Garfield is a very chunky cat, ain't he? We'll have a chat with uh, Trifony and then I'm going to have to end it for today. What's she doing? <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Oh, no, that doesn't look very good at all, does it? No, that looks horrible. Ribblepeeds only look like they have bones. They're squishy all the way through. So what did these fellas eat then? Well, like Grandma always said, if you want answers, dig through their sock drawer. I want to get into that dwelling over there, but the door's blocked up. If you could do something to get that door open, that'd be real swell. <laughs> hmm. Well, that door... Well, we could 
I think we can get the uh, jacket potato to probably ram that mm. open, I think. But yeah, I'm going to have to end the video now, Wolf Morphets, so Ooh. we'll carry on with this next time. So thanks for watching, Wolf Morphets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, mm. and join the pack today.